Welcome to our Faro training video covering upper lip hair removal with sugar. Prepping the skin is important for successful sugar hair removal. You will need to cleanse off the makeup with our pre-treatment skin cleanser and toner. Once the makeup is removed, use a damp cotton pad and wipe over the area. Then make sure the skin is completely dry by wiping over with a dry tissue. Your client's skin is now prepped and ready for the best results for sugar hair removal. Using Faro facial applicators, dip your applicator into the pot and get a small amount of sugar out. Assess the direction of hair growth. Using a Faro facial applicator, apply the sugar in the direction of hair growth as thinly as you can. Using pre-cut strips to size, apply a strip on top of the sugared area. Rub firmly in the direction of hair growth. It is important that you have a two-way stretch before you attempt to remove the strip. Remove the strip in a fast, long and low action. Continue with the rest of the hair growth. In this case, the model only has hair growth in the corners of her lips. Apply the sugar thinly. Rub down the strip and remove with a two-way stretch action and a fast, long and low removal action. Apply a pre-sugaring, hydrating and cleansing mist to a pad and rub over the area where you have sugared. This has arnica and witch hazel. Make sure you have double cleansed the area with pre-treatment cleanser and toner and water. Then dry the area in which you are about to sugar. You can see some remaining hair. This hair is growing at a different angle than the previously removed hair on the last strip. Reapply the sugar, apply a two-way stretch, rub down and remove. Continue applying sugar in a thin fashion. Rub down the strip and remove. You can flip the applicator over to a clean side to remove off any excess thick sugar. It is important that your sugar is thin. Ask your client to help you by pulling their upper lip over their teeth. Stretching the area will help the sugar remove the hair successfully. Continue on through the client's cupid bow area, continuing to apply thinly, rubbing down the strip in the direction of hair growth, stretching and removing in a long and low fast action.
Be careful of the client's nose. We continue now with the other side of the upper lip. The application of sugar is thin. The strip is rubbed down in the direction of hair growth again. There is stretch and the hair is removed. Moving back to the other corner of the mouth, remember the hair can grow in different directions. Apply on one angle, rub the strip down, two-way stretch and remove. Assess whether there is any hair left that is growing on a different angle, then do the same again on the angle of hair growth. Here is the final application and removal. As you can see, all the upper hair has been removed successfully for the client and the client's skin does not look overly inflamed.